The lights are about to go down inside the centre stage at Atlanta, Georgia, where Legacy number 53 was an awesome event. Hello, everybody. Michael Chevallo joined by UFC Hall of Famer Pat Miletic. Once again, Legacy delivering big on the action, Pat. And one of the fights of the night saw a catch wrestler named Adam DeHart in a rematch against Amir Tadovic. And my word, did Adam DeHart put some punishment on Tadovic all over the cage. DeHart is just a rough guy, man. He's keeping the pressure on. Has no fear whatsoever. Sledgehammer punches from him. Tadovic's not able to stop the takedowns. And when he got taken down, he wasn't able to do a whole lot to DeHart. DeHart just kept the pressure on him. Besides this close submission here, which DeHart fought out of, DeHart dominated him for the most part and punishes him with this knee lock. Look at him grabbing the toe and rotating the leg. That will destroy your knee. DeHart promised a friend he'd take home the foot of Dadovic. He almost did it tonight. DeHart goes six and five. Dadovic falls to two and three. Another rematch saw CJ Hamilton take on Jacob Hyberson. Pat, it looked like the three round sum of these two men were on fast forward. It was a blast to watch, a blast to call, Michael. Both guys nonstop. Great endurance out of both of them. Hamilton looked like he got a little more tired than Hyberson, but just sucked it up and worked throughout this fight. And his battling out of this guillotine took a lot of energy out of him. That accounted for him getting tired in this fight. But tough, tough guy, both of them actually. Great technique. And a lot of heart. In the stand-up and on the ground, there was no breathing space whatsoever between these two whippets. At the end of the day, it was CJ Hamilton who got his hands raised by the barest of margins. He goes eight and four. Hyperson falls to seven and four. Diego Lima took on Antonio Trockley in our main event. Again, three rounds of solid action. Lima coming back after a year's break of back-to-back -back TKO losses. Trockley coming back after a loss to Jacob Volkman. Trockley looking very good in that first round. Was able to stop takedowns from Lima. But Lima just, hey, he stuck to his game plan, really worked his tail off, landed some good hard shots, then took those illegal elbows. Ended up getting a point taken away from Trockley, which helped Lima during this fight. But I think overall, Lima just outworked Trockley, and he deserved to win, Mike. Lima finally back in the winner's circle, getting the nod. He goes 11 and 4. Antonio Trockley, who was once 9 and 0 and looking at a potential UFC offer, now has back to back losses in Legacy. Join us next Friday night from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. RFA 37 is going to be a cracker.